Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com. We're here in Colorado Springs at the USA Basketball Development Camp with Jalen Hands. Jalen, how's USA Basketball treating you? It's going great. I'm playing against a lot of good players, learning a lot of new stuff. I'm doing great. Um, what is it like playing against guys who are so much older than you, guys that are going to be McDonald's All-Americans in the future here? It's, it's, it's crazy because you get to see how the stuff they do that got them in that position. You get to play against them and get better from that. And you just get to firsthand see what a McDonald's All-Americans look like. What were, what were your emotions when you got invited to, to, to USA, when you got this invite? I was excited. I was really excited because I knew all the people that normally come out here. I wanted to compete and see where I was at. A lot of great guards have come out of the Southern California area. Um, is that do you get a chance to play against some of them? I mean, what? How much do you know about you know the history of, of you know the uh, the point guards in California? Uh, from California, uh, a lot. I know California is a place where a lot of we get a lot of draft picks, a lot of good college players. Uh, let me see. Someone that I looked up to from California would probably be. I'm gonna go with. Um, there's a lot. I, I just I like California basketball. I like West Coast basketball. I stay on the West Coast a lot. I try to get on the East Coast too, just balance it out. Yeah. For people that are watching this video that might not be too familiar with you, what can you tell us about yourself as a player? As a player, I'm a point. Uh, some some strengths of mine is probably my height, my length, my athleticism. I can get down the court end to end fast. Uh, um, jumping ability, passing. I'm really good at getting in the lane and maneuvering from there. I have a really good mid-range um, shot, three-point shot, and I'm just getting better as a player in terms of getting stronger and faster. And um, I'm a floor general also. I like to talk and get my teammates involved. What do you need to do to reach your full potential as a basketball player? To reach my full potential, the, probably the two biggest things I need to do is, one, get stronger, and two, I want to be able to give 110% effort all the time. I saw that a lot from um, a lot of the better players here at USA. Uh, they were just always on, on, on playing, and I want to be like that. What are some of your goals for your basketball career? For my basketball career, I want to go, um, ultimately, like most people say, but I want to go pro. I want to go as far as it takes me. Uh, college is obviously something that I want to do, but I want to go beyond that. I want to play pro anywhere, make money off of what I love. Where does that athleticism come from? Where, where, did, where did you inherit that from? To be honest, I, I couldn't even dunk like in November. And it was November, and then all of a sudden in December, I grew a little bit, and I started like tip dunking. And then like January, February, I just started like, I don't know what, like no one, I, I don't know what happened. I, I was super unathletic. I used, to be just, I used to be known as someone that was just slow and passed the ball really well. And all of a sudden, like, um, it just came out of nowhere. Are there uh, any athletes in your family? My dad, he, he played basketball. He was, a, he was a really good athlete. He didn't play college or anything, but he was a really good athlete. He was pretty good at basketball. Uh, what, what are some of the things that are going to come into play with your recruitment? You know, what, are, what are you looking for in a college? Uh, ultimately, I want the best fit. I want somewhere that I feel comfortable in, somewhere that I can play somewhere that the system fits me and then little things like I don't know weather anything I just want the perfect fit for me there are a lot of great schools on the west coast you're gonna have a you know a lot of choices even very close to home um, is that you know the kind of the area you're looking at or are you looking nationally right now uh, probably as of now I prefer to stay on the west coast just because I'm from the west coast but I'm totally open to anything uh, like I said before I just want the best fit so if the best fit is in and if best fits on the East Coast, I'll be at the East Coast. Best fits here, I'll be on the West Coast. I just want the best fit. Any um, NBA guys that you pattern your game after? That I model my game after? I, I don't. I like watching Russell, Chris Paul, a little bit of Kyrie, but mostly Russell and Chris Paul because I feel Chris Paul has his feel for the game, the way he leads, the way he gets in the lane and passes. And I like. Um, I think I can take after Russell Westbrook's athletic ability, getting up and down, getting in the lane, just being. Very um, end to end, fast. I like that. The competition level here is very high. You get a chance to really test yourself against some of the best players in the country. But what about the fundamentals part, the, the teaching that, that goes on here? What, what are some of the things that they were trying to teach you guys here, and, and what did you pick up on? Uh, the, probably the biggest thing here that I got is c competing. 
just compete no matter who's in front of you. Whether it's uh, uh, probably the best player is Jalen Brown, unless you're going up against him or maybe my sister, like just competing against anyone at all times. So that's one thing that they really pointed out to us. Um, go hard, run, talk, be, commun be, um, be com communicate with your teammates. It's probably competing and communicating is probably the biggest small skill sets they're teaching us. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.